Glycerol, Wikipedia Audio Glycerol also called glycerin or glycerin, see spelling differences is a simple polyol compound. It is a colorless, odorless, viscous liquid that is sweet tasting and non-toxic. The glycerol backbone is found in all lipids known as triglycerides. It is widely used in the food industry as a sweetener and humectant and in pharmaceutical formulations. Glycerol has three hydroxyl groups that are responsible for its solubility in water and its hygroscopic nature. Although a chiral, glycerol is prochiral with respect to reactions of one of the two primary alcohols. Thus, in substituted derivatives, the stereospecific numbering labels each carbon as either SN1, SN2, or SN3. Glycerol is generally obtained from plant and animal sources where it occurs as triglycerides. Triglycerides are esters of glycerol with long-chain carboxylic acids. The hydrolysis, saponification, or transesterification of these triglycerides produces glycerol as well as the fatty acid derivative. Structure Triglycerides are treated with an alcohol such as ethanol with catalytic base to give ethyl esters of fatty acids and glycerol. Typical plant sources include soybeans or palm. Animal-derived tallow is another source. Approximately 950,000 tons per year are produced in the United States and Europe. 350,000 tons of glycerol were produced per year in the United States alone from 2000 to 2004. The EU Directive 2003-30-EC set a requirement that 5.75% of petroleum fuels are to be replaced with biofuel sources across all member states by 2010. It was projected in 2006 that by the year 2020, production would be six times more than demand, creating an excess of glycerol. Hydrogen gas production, glycerin acetate is a potential fuel additive, conversion to propylene glycol, conversion to acrolein, conversion to ethanol, conversion to epichlorohydrin, a raw material for epoxy resins. Glycerol from triglycerides is produced on a large scale, but the crude product is of variable quality, with a low selling price of as low as 2 to 5 US cents per kilogram in 2011. It can be purified, but the process is expensive. Some glycerol is burned for energy, but its heat value is low. Crude glycerol from the hydrolysis of triglycerides can be purified by treatment with activated carbon to remove organic impurities, alkali to remove unreacted glycerol esters, and ion exchange to remove salts. High purity glycerol is obtained by multi step distillation, vacuum is helpful due to the high boiling point of glycerol. Although usually not cost effective, Glycerol can be produced by various routes from propylene. The epichlorohydrin process is the most important, it involves the chlorination of propylene to give allyl chloride, which is oxidized with hypochlorite to dichlorohydrins, which reacts with a strong base to give epichlorohydrin. This epichlorohydrin is then hydrolyzed to give glycerol. Chlorine-free processes from propylene include the synthesis of glycerol from acrolein and propylene oxide. Because of the large-scale production of biodiesel from fats, where glycerol is a waste product, the market for glycerol is depressed. Thus, synthetic processes are not economical. Owing to oversupply, Efforts are being made to convert glycerol to synthetic precursors, such as acrolein and epichlorohydrin, and as a thickening agent in liqueurs. Glycerol and water are used to preserve certain types of plant leaves. As a sugar substitute, 
it has approximately 27 kilocalories per teaspoon and is 60% as sweet as sucrose. It does not feed the bacteria that form plagues and cause dental cavities. As a food additive, glycerol is labeled as E number E422. It is added to icing to prevent it from setting too hard. As used in foods, glycerol is categorized by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics as a carbohydrate. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration carbohydrate designation includes all caloric macronutrients excluding protein and fat. Glycerol has a caloric density similar to table sugar, but a lower glycemic index and different metabolic pathway within the body, so some dietary advocates accept glycerol as a sweetener compatible with low-carbohydrate diets. It is also recommended as an additive when using polyol sweeteners such as erythritol and xylitol which have a cooling effect, due to its heating effect in the mouth, if the cooling effect is not wanted. Production Glycerol is used in medical, pharmaceutical and personal care preparations, mainly as a means of improving smoothness, providing lubrication and as a humectant. It is found in allergen immunotherapies, cough syrups, elixirs and expectorants, toothpaste, mouthwashes, skin care products, shaving cream, hair care products, soaps, and water-based personal lubricants. In solid dosage forms like tablets, glycerol is used as a tablet holding agent. For human consumption, Glycerol is classified by the US FDA among the sugar alcohols as a caloric macronutrient. Glycerol is a component of glycerin soap. Essential oils are added for fragrance. This kind of soap is used by people with sensitive, easily irritated skin because it prevents skin dryness with its moisturizing properties. It draws moisture up through skin layers and slows or prevents excessive drying and evaporation. Glycerol can be used as a laxative when introduced into the rectum in suppository or small volume form. It irritates the anal mucosa and induces a hyperosmotic effect. Taken orally, glycerol can cause a rapid, temporary decrease in the internal pressure of the eye. This can be useful for the initial emergency treatment of severely elevated eye pressure. When utilized in tincture method extractions, specifically as a 10% solution, glycerol prevents tannins from precipitating in ethanol extracts of plants. It is also used as an alcohol-free alternative to ethanol as a solvent in preparing herbal extractions. It is less extractive when utilized in a standard tincture methodology. Alcohol-based tinctures can also have the alcohol removed and replaced with glycerol for its preserving properties. Such products are not alcohol-free in a scientific sense, as glycerol contains three hydroxyl groups. Fluid extract manufacturers often extract herbs in hot water before adding glycerol to make glycerites. When used as a primary true alcohol-free botanical extraction solvent in non-tincture-based methodologies, glycerol has been shown to possess a high degree of extractive versatility for botanicals including removal of numerous constituents and complex compounds with an extractive power that can rival that of alcohol and water alcohol solutions. That glycerol possesses such high extractive power assumes it is utilized with dynamic methodologies as opposed to standard passive tincturing methodologies that are better suited to alcohol. Glycerol possesses the intrinsic property of not denaturing or rendering a botanical's constituents inert alcohol, methyl alcohol, etc., do. Glycerol is a stable preserving agent for botanical extracts that, when utilized in proper concentrations in an extraction solvent base, 
does not allow inverting or reduction oxidation of a finished extract's constituents, even over several years. Both glycerol and ethanol are viable preserving agents. Glycerol is bacteriostatic in its action, and ethanol is bactericidal in its action. Glycerin, along with propylene glycol, is a common component of e-liquid, a solution used with electronic vaporizers. This glycerol is heated with an atomizer, producing the aerosol that delivers nicotine to the user. Synthetic Glycerol Applications Like ethylene glycol and propylene glycol, Glycerol is a non-ionic cosmotrope that forms strong hydrogen bonds with water molecules, competing with water-water hydrogen bonds. This interaction disrupts the formation of ice. The minimum freezing point temperature is about 36 degree F corresponding to 70% glycerol in water. Food Industry Pharmaceutical and Personal Care Applications Botanical extracts Electronic cigarette liquid Antifreeze Glycerol was historically used as an antifreeze for automotive applications before being replaced by ethylene glycol, which has a lower freezing point. While the minimum freezing point of a glycerol water mixture is higher than an ethylene glycol water mixture, Glycerol is not toxic and is being re-examined for use in automotive applications. In the laboratory, glycerol is a common component of solvents for enzymatic reagents stored at temperatures below zero degrees Celsius due to the depression of the freezing temperature. It is also used as a cryoprotectant where the glycerol is dissolved in water to reduce damage by ice crystals to laboratory organisms that are stored in frozen solutions, such as bacteria, nematodes, and mammalian embryos. Glycerol is used to produce nitroglycerin, which is an essential ingredient of various explosives such as dynamite, gelignite, and propellants like cordite. Reliance on soap making to supply CO product glycerol made it difficult to increase production to meet wartime demand. Hence, synthetic glycerol processes were national defense priorities in the days leading up to World War II. Chemical Intermediate Nitroglycerin, also known as glyceryl trinitrate is commonly used to relieve angina pectoris taken in the form of sublingual tablets, or as an aerosol spray. Prop liquids. HDM Acoustic Properties for Liquids NDE-ED.org Glycerol is used as fill for pressure gauges to dampen vibration. External vibrations, from compressors, engines, pumps, etc., produce harmonic vibrations within Borden gauges that can cause the needle to move excessively, giving inaccurate readings. The excessive swinging of the needle can also damage internal gears or other components, causing premature wear. Glycerol, when poured into a gauge to replace the air space, reduces the harmonic vibrations that are transmitted to the needle increasing the lifetime and reliability of the gauge. Glycerol is used by the film industry when filming scenes involving water to stop areas from drying out too quickly. Glycerin is used combined with water to create a smooth smoky environment. The solution is vaporized and pushed into the room with a ventilator. Glycerol can be sometimes used as replacement for water in ultrasonic testing, as it has favorably higher acoustic impedance while being relatively safe, non-toxic, non-corrosive, and relatively low cost. Glycerol is also used to power diesel generators supplying electricity for the FIA Formula E series of electric race cars. Research has been conducted to try to make value-added products from glycerol obtained from biodiesel production. Examples 
Vibration Dampening Glycerol is a precursor for synthesis of triacylglycerols and of phospholipids in the liver and adipose tissue. When the body uses stored fat as a source of energy, glycerol and fatty acids are released into the bloodstream. Circulating glycerol does not glycate proteins as do glucose or fructose, and does not lead to the formation of advanced glycation end products. In some organisms, the glycerol component can enter the glycolysis pathway directly and, thus, provide energy for cellular metabolism. Before glycerol can enter the pathway of glycolysis or gluconeogenesis, it must be converted to their intermediate glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate in the following steps. Niche The enzyme glycerol kinase is present mainly in the liver and kidneys, but also in other body tissues, including muscle and brain. In adipose tissue, glycerol 3-phosphate is obtained from dihydroxyacetone phosphate with the enzyme glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. Glycerol has very low toxicity when ingested, its LD50 oral dose for rats is 12,600 mg kg and 8,700 mg kg for mice. Ultrasonic coolant Internal Combustion Fuel Research on Uses On May 4, 2007, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration advised all U.S. makers of medicines to test all batches of glycerol for the toxic diethylene glycol. This followed an occurrence of hundreds of fatal poisonings in Panama resulting from a falsified import customs declaration by Panamanian import-slash-export firm Aduanas Javier de Gracia Express, S.A. The cheaper diethylene glycol was relabeled as the more expensive glycerol. The origin of the GLY and GLA prefixes for glycols and sugars is from Greek gamma lambda upsilon kapiklikos which means sweet. Metabolism Historical cases of contamination with diethylene glycol Etymology Isomers <laughs>